Break on my full time gig. Gotta make a little run to the post office right quick. I decided to drop a little, drop a little story off on y'all. I had in the stash. Uh, <laughs> one day I was out driving. Uh, people familiar with Atlanta. I was over there about uh, off North Joy Hills. Got a call to pick up a guy at uh, Famous. It's a bar, uh, it's a bar right there beside Maggie's. Maggie's like a little, a little bar where a lot of college students go, but it's like a bigger bar, like right, right beside there where a lot of, uh, people go. And it's, it's always a weird mix of people in there. Uh, sometimes I go in there, like I have to use the bathroom or something when I'm in that area, I go into, uh, I go into, into that place and go use the bathroom or whatever. And you like, see like, Country people, hood dudes up in there. It's like the just strangest mix of people in there. But anyway, I got a call to pick this guy up from there. So I pull up to the front, and the guy was standing out there, just looking at his phone. He looked like he was straight, good to go. You know, he started, I was like, hey, such, uh, Uber for such and such. He's like, yeah, that's me. So he got in the car, he got in, he didn't say much. I asked how he's doing, small talk. And, um, he went on about his business. I mean, you know, got on, got on, got on the back just as quiet or whatever. So we riding out, taking him out to Stone Mountain. So that was like a good ride. It was like 20, 25 minutes, something like that. And um, so we get over there, we get close to a spot. And um, I, I look back to tell him that we're here. I was like, I said, uh, I said, yeah, I was, I was asking which house it was or something like that. I was like, hey, such and such. And, uh, guy was back there. I mean, he was not, he was knocked out, passed out on the seat, right? I was like, yeah. I was like, so I had to tap him and wake him up. I was like, hey. He said, here you go. You home. I said, you home, buddy. I said, this your place right here? He said, oh, yeah, that's me. So he getting up. Uh, he was getting up all slow and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, he was knocked out, so he was hard for him to get up. Man, the dude got up, you know, he opened the door. On, on this side, he got out behind me. So, so he opened the door. I said, "You alright, buddy?" He said, yeah, "I'm good." He got out, and he started. The door was open. He started stumbling around. Like I was like, "What the hell is he doing?" He, he started stumbling around. Next thing, I just heard. I just heard him say, "Uh, uh, boom!" Like I just heard a boom hit the back of the car, and I just heard like him hit the ground. I was like, "Oh shit, man!" It, it sounded like he, man. It, I, I was like, "Man, is this dude dead or what?" Cause the way he hit that car, man, it sounded like I, I couldn't tell if he hit his head or he hit his head on the concrete or what. I was like, oh shit! So I got out and I looked back there. He laying behind the car. Uh, he's like, I said, yo, you are. Right? He had a head on. I said, yo, you are. Right? He's like, yeah. So I, uh, I, I grabbed his hand, pull him up, so I could check and make sure he's all right. Pull him up and he had a head on. I picked his head up, make sure he wasn't bleeding or nothing. Cause it sounded like he smacked his head on the on the on the concrete or whatever. So, um. We did that. I got him up and stuff, and make sure he was all right. And man, when I stood him up, the dude could barely damn stand up, yo. He, I mean, I had to, I had to walk this dude to his front door. So we got to the, got to the front door, and I'm looking. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I say, hey man, I said, uh, I said, you got your, you know, you got your key, or whatever. He's like, yes. Yeah. So I said, I literally had to hold this dude up and walk him up the steps to his house. So he got to the front door. And um, he, you know, he, he opened the door and stuff. He was like, "Oh, thank you, man, thank you," or whatever. And uh, I was about to sit him down on the sofa 
So he started trying to run. I was like, what the hell are you doing? I said, no, nah, man, sit down, because I didn't want him to be up while I leave out. You know what I'm saying? The dude took off running. He was like, ooh, ooh. He took off running. I said, man, what you got to throw up or something? He's like, yeah. He said, man, he ran to the kitchen and threw up in the sink or whatever and all that shit. I was like, all right, man, I'm gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't want to be here no longer. I said, he all right now. He on his own. So got him in the house and everything. And, you know, I, I walked out and uh, got back in the car. I was like, oh, shit, man. He scared the hell out of me. I thought the dude, I thought the dude was, was dead, man. I thought he, I thought the way it's, the way it sounded when he hit that car, Maybe he was trying to grab the car to stop himself from falling. Man, it sounded like he hit his head or hit himself on the car and the concrete, man. It was so loud. And I was like, man, so I'm told, like I said, after I thought I let him in this house or whatever, I went on out. So I got in the car and I'm driving, I'm pulling off. Dude bust out the front door. He was yelling, hey, hey, hey. I was like, so I stopped, I was like, what's wrong, man? He's like, he said, I think I left my phone in your car or whatever. So I got in the back seat, looked back there, and he did drop his phone. So I gave him his cell phone back. But it's like he changed a lot since, you know, maybe once he threw up, he, he felt a lot better or whatever. But, uh, you know, once he uh, once he did that, he was more active than he was when he first got out that car, man. He couldn't even walk. But it was so funny because when I picked him up, he wasn't, he wasn't like wobbling or stumbling around or nothing. He was just standing in front of the spot. And just, I guess, close, his, having his eyes closed and probably that last couple shots sinking in, man, took him on out of there. But um, man, that was crazy. That's just getting hell. That's the first. That's the only time I had to physically help somebody into their house. That was crazy. That's, hey man, you, you you got me doing too much. You, you, I'm taking you in your house. You too drunk, you can't even walk in your house. So, but I made sure he. I made sure he was alright. You know, I didn't. Um, I made sure he was alright. I didn't uh, leave him leave him hanging like that. You know. So, hey, that's that for you. Sometimes. Sometimes the job calls for you to go above and beyond. <laughs> but I'm glad he was all right. Scared the hell out of me. But that be that. Y'all hold it down. A little quick story for y'all. Some of the crazy things you got to deal with when you're out here and get your Uber on. All right? Peace.